Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera and in today's video I'm going to be setting up my May bullet journal spreads. Now you can probably guess the colour that I've chosen this month by the colour I'm wearing on my lips and it's the colour purple. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and as always I include a flip through at the end of the video so stay tuned for that. Just in case you're new to my channel, I am using an A4 sized bullet journal and this is my theme from April. It was a yellow theme and you can check out that video over here. I'm just flipping through the spreads. I haven't actually filled in a lot of things because at the time of filming right now, uh, we're only halfway through the month. This thing was really nice. I did some yellow flowers and other little drawings. And now let's move on to the month of May. For the month of May, I'm going to be using some paper from a book. And because May is the fifth month of the year, I'm going to use this chapter five page as my cover page. Now, just a little heads up in case you are deciding to use paper from a book in your journal make sure that it's paper that is easy to rip because this paper was not always easy you have some areas that are easy to rip because they're with the grain of the paper but then when you're going against the grain it's like it's, it's a nightmare <laughs> anyway I'm going to be laying out some paper bits and drawing some lines and things like that before and then I'm going to be going in with some paint afterwards because I feel like I do things in different orders I don't do each page individually these days on the side we're going to be doing our monthly log here and I'm just going to draw out the lines of my calendar. I referred back to the beginning of my journal to see how the calendar is supposed to look or how many days in the month there are and what day it starts on. And also my nails are purple in this clip because again, purple was the theme I was going for. So pretty pleased with that. Each box from the calendar is four by four squares and I'm just going to hand draw each of the lines across the page and pretty happy with how straight I could draw those lines. I then stuck in the pages from the book. Now the book I'm using is A Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I think I read this book when I was really young. I can't remember it. Not too fussed about it to be honest. And I'm just going to use a purple Crayola super tip to add in the little details and write tasks, the days of the week and next month as well down the bottom just in case I have any things that I think of at the beginning of the month or the next month. I flip back to my future log and I look in the month of May to see if there are any events or tasks that need to be scheduled in for this month. I usually put birthdays in and public holidays so some birthdays I write in and some other little things I think it's Mother's Day my godmother's birthday and then yeah it's a public holiday then I move on to the next page in my previous video on this channel I recently unboxed a few products that I received as a gift from the brand Leuchtturm 1917 including a some lines a day journal so in my bullet journal I used to have one line a day and I've decided to get rid of that and use my some lines a day journal instead so now I'm just going to write my gratitude and I have left quite a bit of space for it but I think I would only be writing one word I also have my finance tracker on the side and I wrote numbers which was unintentional and I wiped that out because I realized that in my finance tracker I do not need numbers. My finance tracker is the same as usual. I have four different columns, the date, the item, the category and the cost. Then I'm just going to trace out all the lines, make sure that everything looks good and add a little bar at the top of the finance tracker so I know where things go. I'm grabbing my book out again and ripping out another page and I know some people would be like oh my god you're ripping out pages from a book. Well look it's my book. I can do whatever I want with it. I'm going to add in some little details including this strip at the top for the headers. I will be doing nice headers later. I think I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that at this point in filming so I'll come back to it. This next page is my quote page and I decided to stick in this kind of transparent paper. It is baking paper. Never use baking paper to stick into your journal. First of all it's very transparent so you can't see much. Second of all because it is supposed to be baking paper it is non-stick so it doesn't stick well and no pen tends to write on it. I was using a permanent marker and and that wasn't really holding up all that well. And when I get to the painting stage, you'll see that it just paint doesn't hold. So I have to add in some extra details so that it can hold. The quote I wrote was seek to understand before you seek to be understood. And I thought that really resonated with me this month. Let's move on to the next page. The next page is a new spread that I'm including into my bullet journal. And it is directly copied from this Instagram page here or her YouTube channel, which I'm going to link up the top and down the bottom. And it's how to integrate new habits into your week or into your day, specifically uh, in the morning and in the evening. 
because I work and I have different work schedules, I always change the time I wake up. But the idea would be to have a consistent morning routine and a consistent evening routine. That means whatever time I go to bed or whatever time I wake up, I just get out and immediately start the routine. However, I want to add in some things or get rid of some bad habits. And so I'm going to use these sticky notes to track the habits that need to be added or that are that I'm currently doing. The orange sticky tabs are supposed to be bad habits that I need to get rid of. And the green ones are supposed to be good habits that I need to continue or integrate into my daily routine. To learn more about this you can check out her video or on her Instagram page she goes into more depth. I think it's a really cool idea and I'm hoping that it works. At this stage I'm also sticking in some more of the book pages into the weekly spread. As you can already see I pencil sketched most of the details and I'm just gonna go over it with a pen. I'm going to write out a mini calendar and I'm using this purple sparkly pen. It's a Pentel metallic one and it has this really cool dual metallic shine to it when you hold it up to different angles of the sun which I'm going to show you in just a moment right here so it's got this pinky sheen to it and I absolutely love these pens and I haven't used them enough but I really want to then I'm going in with my Crayola super tip again and I'm just writing or circling out the days of the week I've started using this system where I have a scheduler and it's kind of like time blocking your week and then on the side I have my tasks and then I can do little circles or dot to indicate what day I need to do those tasks and then schedule them in to my scheduler I'm also using this cool font this month it's a very neat calligraphy and I think it looks stunning and I'm just going to have two little boxes at the bottom one is going to be my notes and the other is going to be for my habits you'll notice that I don't have a real habits tracker this month that is for the entire month I've actually decided to use a weekly habits tracker to see how I go and I will let you know how it goes in my next video or in my next plan with me if I continue with it or not then I'm just writing the hours of the day from 5 a.m. to midnight I'm going to draw out the lines for each of the days. The idea behind this is that on the left of this line I do my planned week or my planned daily schedule and then on the right side of the line I would actually fill in how the day went. So if a task took me longer I would draw it longer along the line. If it took me shorter or if I didn't do it I would just put in that spot what I actually did instead. If this is not making any sense, you can check out my Instagram. I do have a post about it and then you can see exactly what I mean. Then at the bottom, I'm going to use these little circles for my habits tracker and I'm just going back now to start doing some more decorations. I'm just testing out which pen works on these pages. So I'm just trying out my Pentel and my Crayola Super Tip and they both seem to work pretty well, but I decided to go with the Crayola Super Tip for the cover page. I did this M which I copied off of a letter from Pinterest and it's really fun with lots of flourishes and I love flourishes at the moment. I think they look so cool. Then I'm going to use this same dual metallic Pentel pen to do some faux calligraphy to write out the word May on my monthly log and I love how that turned out. I'm gonna go back and use my Pentel brush sign pen for the trackers here. And I'm just gonna write gratitude and finances at the top with that funky calligraphy as well. I'm going to write habits at the top of this page. I should have traced out my letters before because the letters aren't exactly in the right shape or space but they look good anyway. Then I'm going to write week 18 and I'm just going to use that same pen again. I'm going to write notes on that page and then habits on the side. I'm going to write out the words as well and I'm just using capital letters for this. I flip back to April to see what my color code is and I'm just going to insert at the top with different colors because I'm not going to use the same orange scheme. I'm going to use a purple scheme to fit in with this month's theme. I use my Crayola Super Tip to colour the headers. I wrote out the little habit that I want this week, which is yoga. I'm also going to write swimming down the bottom and add in some more little circles for that habit. And then I'm going to start painting. I'm going to be painting these purple flowers. Again, I apologise for the birds outside. It is, it is loud today. And I'm just going to mix in some red and some blue. These are Royal Talons gouache paints and I'm going to darken the colour and then add it to the page. I copied this off of this Instagram creator. Shader Campbell and I really liked how it turned out and I just wanted to do this because I couldn't think of any other purple theme. This is what I chose. This is me painting out the flowers. I'm going to do different sized flowers, different shapes and I'm also going to add in a bit of a lighter purple in the middle to kind of give it a more slightly 3D effect. I'm basically copying everything that Shader Campbell did in that picture. For the big flowers you can see that I do three strokes from the top and then I make sure that the ones on the bottom are slightly thinner. That way it's looking as if you're looking to 
towards the flower and not from the head down so they're not all the same size. Once I've done the flowers and the colours, I'm going to go in with the stems. I go for this kind of a light green shade. I'm actually going to go back in with this one and darken it because I wasn't too satisfied with how light green the stems looked. I'm also adding in some leaves and that's really simple. You just add in like a little stroke of the paintbrush. For the leaves, you're going to add a very light pressure at the very beginning of the leaf, holding the paintbrush down in the middle and lightening at the end. I then add on these little yellow dots to represent the center of the flower and you have to make sure that the flower is dry before doing this. And then with the same lighter purple, I'm adding in some little lavender paint strokes. So it's just side to side across that page. I'm also gonna do the exact same thing over here and you can see what I mean by I darkened the stems so if you're looking right now you can see that the stems on the right page are a lot darker and I think they look way better darker than they do lighter. Then I'm going to move on to my gratitude and finance page and I'm going to do some flowers at the top left corner and also on the bottom right corner and I'm just first going to add in the flowers so the same little strokes different sizes each time then I add in the little light purple for each of the flowers. I was impatient at this point so sometimes when I put the light strokes it doesn't actually look all that light so I have to go back in again. I would be patient and let the paint dry before doing this but you know sometimes it looks cool as well. I add in the little lavender strokes and that's just side to side paint action. I add in the stems as well and to mix that it's just blue and yellow with a little bit of red to darken the color. I add in my strokes with the leaves as well on the top and it was a little bit difficult doing this upside down. For filming I decided that I didn't want to move my paper. I think for practical reasons I should have but everything for filming right? in my little yellow dots for the finishing touches and that is my gratitude and finances page done. Now we're moving on to the quote page so as you can see I'm testing that paint there and it just doesn't hold so I ripped up some brown paper or craft paper and I'm gonna stick it right there and I'm just gonna have my flowers there as well. I think adding the craft paper was such a nice idea and I'm sad that I didn't add more craft paper at the beginning of the spreads but for the next spreads there's going to be quite a bit of craft paper. Now circling back to the quote I was really happy to choose this quote because sometimes you I get frustrated when I'm trying to explain something to somebody and they don't understand. Specifically my parents because they just don't understand what I'm saying sometimes and I've just got to understand that they don't think the same way that I do. So I just need to understand where they're coming from so that they can understand where I'm coming from. Now I'm moving on to that little habits page that I did and I'm going to add on the little flowers at the bottom here. This is a close-up shot of me painting those flowers so I think it's easier if you want to recreate this to see it here. I hadn't mentioned this previously but I'm using an oval brush for the flowers and a round brush for the stems and here you can see a little bit better how I'm painting the flowers it's just a bit closer up and you can see that I'm using the oval brush to do four of the top leaves and then a thinner bottom petal not leaf sorry and then for the smaller ones I'm just doing three very small strokes to sort of represent a blooming flower instead of one that's already bloomed. And I'm just going in with the stems again. A very light hand for those stems, I don't want them to be too thick. I'm also going to go in with little yellow dots and that's that page done. Next we're moving on to the first week of May, so in the calendar year it's week 18. I'm going to add the flowers at the top and also at the bottom because I feel like only flowers at the top is not enough. I add them next to the habits tracker side. Now you'll see that on the right here there's a faint line from pencil. That's because I'm also going to be cutting out tabs for this month so I'm also paying attention and not putting any of the flowers on the side there because that's where I'll cut the tabs out and also where I'll color some tabs in so I just don't want any of the painting to go over there. And you'll see that later on in the video as well. Now we move on to the next week. So I'm drawing out the line to make sure that I don't paint on this side again and then I'm going to try and make these two pages week 19 and week 20 a little bit symmetrical. I'm just drawing out with a pencil where I want different things to go. I want my color code there and my little monthly calendar on that side. I'm going to grab the book again and rip out some more paper to do it here. Ripping out from the beginning of the journal and I'm just going to cut off the edges and then cut the page diagonally. Oh my gosh these birds! Sorry. 
I ripped the page in a little diagonal so I have a little triangle for my page and I'm just going to stick both of these at the top. The little paper you saw at the bottom was just so that I could glue my paper so that none of the corners would be lifting up. Then I'm getting my pencil to trace out where I want each of the little areas to go. So we have the time blocking part and we also have the task section and I'm just going to make sure that everything is aligned and everything fits onto the page before going back in with a pen. I write out the time of the day on the side just to see where I'm going to stop because then I'm just going to draw a line and I'm going to add in some details on the bottom so the notes part and the habits part and to do that I'm going to rip out some more paper I'm going to kind of do a little circle shape with the book paper as well as with the craft paper and I'm just going to keep tearing these down until I get the right size I fiddle around with the placement as well just to see what I like and then I'm just gonna glue it down like so also these pen swatches on that paper are from the Ecoline brush pens from Royal Talons and they you would have seen those as well in my previous video with a pencil I sketch out all of the letters and the lettering for my week I'm also going to go in with a brush pen and while this is super sped up in some areas it is not actually that fast it takes quite a while I think this current clip is sped up by I think like four times I go in with that same Crayola super tip to add in the little circles for the days of the week at the top as well for the top bar for the task per week and I'm also going to add it on for the color code box as well. If you live anywhere else in the world do you also have birds this loud? In Australia they're so loud. I'm going to write out the mini calendar at the top as well. I'm not going to highlight the weeks because we've got two weeks here. I did contemplate for a minute doing two different colors to do two different weeks but in the end I just decided not to color it at all. I made a mistake here. I put the times too close to the first week line so Monday's line is right next to it so when I need to plan out my week which would be on the left side of the line it's going to be very close to the numbers which is not my intention. For the habits and notes I'm just going to add in my little circles again. I add the color code and then I begin painting in my flowers. Now because the page here is kind of restricted, I can't have one area with lots of flowers and so I need to have little areas where I put flowers in. So I choose to put them in the top bar here and I'm trying to keep everything nice and symmetrical. I also put some flowers on the sides there and on the bottom next to the habits tracker. And I'm just doing the dark purple first before going in with the leaves and the stems. I'm also going to put a little bit of paint there. I lighten the centers and then I go in with my stems and my leaves. The stems and leaves are by far my favorite parts to paint. Actually, no, that's, that's a lie. I like painting all of these flowers. It's very relaxing because it's super easy. And I'm also going to use this yellow yellow Archer and Olive Acrylograph to do the little yellow dots this time. My mistake was not waiting for the paint to dry enough so it did kind of mess it up at some points but I think it looks good anyway. Next we're going in for the last week of May and now in this video I am doing all of my weekly spreads at the same time because all of the weekly spreads are exactly the same. I really like this layout from my previous video so I'm not going to be doing another video for the weekly spreads and because this month there are no elaborate paintings the video isn't extremely long from painting either. I think it's a really nice style. It was definitely the shortest plan with me that I've ever done. Well, not ever done, but that I've done in a long time. And so it was really nice because I could just do it really fast and it looks really nice as well. I love having the craft paper on this weekly spread. I think it looks really effective with the book paper on the top. I'm just going to trace out all of my little details here with the tasks on the side. As you've already seen, the craft paper here and then the little book paper. I'm going to write notes and habits because that's just exactly the same as the previous ones. For this one, I also didn't trace out by hand with a pencil beforehand because I'd been doing the same letters for the entire month and I figured that I should be able to do it now. However, as you can see with the H, it's a little bit lopsided. So in fact, I should have done it with a pencil first. Then I'm just adding on some flowers. This time I'm going to add some more flowers onto the right side of that same page. I don't think I should have done that because I'm going to add more flowers to the other page. I think I should have left it blank, but it still looks good right now. And for the pictures that I took for Instagram, it also looks pretty good. I add on my book paper on the side and I'm just going to to write the word review because we've now gotten to the part where I do my month review and then I'm just going to trace out all of my boxes. They're the same boxes every single time except for this month I made a mistake and I put the movies, TV shows and music at the top. I usually put positives and negatives at the top with my moods but I accidentally made a mistake. Then I'm just going to use my Crayola super tip to highlight the titles. I made a mistake in that long box there. I was starting to write brainstorm first but that was a mistake so I crossed it out and wrote the real thing that it was supposed to be and biggest highlight 
know what? I white out that thing. I was a bit skeptical about it because I wasn't sure whether it would look good, but it's fine. These are the flowers that I've added on and I'm not showing you me painting them all along because you've already seen me paint flowers in this video and it's exactly the same process. Now for the tabs. Now I did make a mistake again, which you will see later, but first I count out how many pages I need and I have four and then I measure out the tab sizes so that the four tabs go along. So each of the tabs is 13 squares long and then I'm just going to use a cutting knife and a cutting board to cut each of those strips and then I'm going to make sure that they all come off nicely like so. So these are the little tabs. I'm going to round out the edges of those tabs as well because I feel like sharp edges like this it doesn't fit well into the journal. Now the mistake that you'll see is on the other page but let's round the tabs first. So I just used scissors for this. I think there are tools where you can round out corners but honestly I haven't bought one of those yet so I'm just gonna use scissors. They're not all perfectly even but honestly who cares at this stage. Then I'm going to grab some pens and this is a different pen from a different brand. I think I bought this in Taiwan. I just tested it on the paper first to see if it would go and then I'm just going to color in the tabs in these different colors. Here you can see where my mistake was. I painted the flowers onto where the tab was supposed to go so couldn't color it in and I just left it like that. I then write the different idols for each of the tabs. So monthly log, gratitude, weekly spreads and then weekly spreads again and that's it let's move to the flip through this is the cover page and the monthly log i absolutely love how this turned out there's a little mistake there i didn't wait for the pen to dry before turning the page but anyway these pages the quote page you can already see the paper coming off habits tracker and then week one week two and week three i love how this spread turns out together it's very symmetrical really cool week 21 or week four of the month and the monthly review and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you want to see more content like this you can check out my video where i set up my april spreads and the color that i chose for april was yellow which is my favorite color anyway i'll see you in another video bye